So Power With Purpose is one of the most exciting things we do here at DevX. We're thrilled to be partnering with McKinsey again. It's our second year. And we're really highlighting remarkable women, five yes. remarkable women who are at the forefront of the global development community. And we're looking forward to doing this with you. And I thought we'd just start out by asking, why is this so important to McKinsey? Frankly, it's just, it's a human capital missed opportunity. Yeah. If we see a shortage of women in leadership roles, it means that something, something is broken in the system such that women are not rising to the levels of leadership at the same rates that men are. Um, and of course, if we're thinking about it as a strategy question, if you're not drawing on half of the available you know, pool of talent, um, it suggests that there are things that we could be doing differently to make sure that we're taking advantage of you know, the full human talent pool available. Yeah, we're in 2017, it seems so obvious. So many organizations say this is a priority, are working on it, and Absolutely. yet we're not on pace at all to erase the, the issue that exists today. Where do you see that big challenge today? Yeah. So I think some of the challenges that we, you know, tend to hit upon will be unsurprising to you. You know, looking at parental leave, are there different alternatives and arrangements available? Um, are there sponsorship and mentorship opportunities? Are there people pulling women up um, and showing them the way and grooming them for leadership roles? Um, but I think actually one of the biggest challenges is probably even more hidden. Um, and particularly when we're look interested in building our pipeline of women leaders in developing countries, the issue actually starts even further back in the pipeline. Um, and so what we're seeing is that, you know, the great gains that we've made in terms of closing the gender gap in primary education and secondary education is not always translating into closing gender gaps in labor force participation. So and we're getting more girls in school, they're getting through school, but they're not yet participating like men are in, in the workforce. Exactly. And I mean, from a sort of human capital perspective, we're seeing you know, a lot of investment, both on the education side, but also vocational training, skilling girls up, getting them ready to work with market relevant skills. But we're almost at a place now where we're sort of, we've got young women who are all skilled up with nowhere to go. And so we've got to start also focusing on the demand side of the equation and knowing that leadership starts with being the line manager in your factory. Um, it looks like, you know, a middle management role it, that all the way up to executive leadership. Um, but if we want to see women at scale, sort of ascending the ranks, we first got to crack the nut of, you know, making the school to work transition smoother and more successful for young women. Yeah, one of the things that's so important, I think, about this initiative is when you look at these incredible five women, and you know, they're at the very, very top of their pinnacle career, of their careers, the pinnacle, yeah. at, and within our community, they're at, these are a level that might seem almost untouchable, <laughs> but they started somewhere. Yes. They had to make that transition from school into their first job. They had to make that transition up the ranks and the ladder, whatever the leadership opportunities were in their organizations. That happened for them. And hopefully that provides a lesson for all of us that we can foster those opportunities for women in our own organizations today. Absolutely. And for young women who are just about you know, starting their careers in development to see a path um, and to see some successful profiles of people who maybe look or sound a little bit more like them, um, I think is just has such a you know a powerful kind of motivational effect. It's a you know a great moment for us to also pause and to think about sort of that intergenerational connectivity and you know what can be done by women leaders in the development sector today to now reach backward to the next generation and think about who is it that you're mentoring who is it that you're sponsoring that's coming up behind you within your organization or outside your organization i'm so glad you made that point because to me when i think about power with purpose i think about wanting people to come away with two things first of all knowing we are not where we need to right. be when it comes to women's leadership and global development the numbers are not something we should be proud of as a community on the other hand, yeah. look at the incredible talent that's out there that this initiative helps to highlight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for all the incredible work that absolutely you do. Absolutely, no. Uh, for partnering with us on Power With Purpose. This is one of the most important things we get to do, and it, it's uh, a real honor to get to uh, highlight the work of these five remarkable women. So well, thrilled to be doing it. With we you. are looking forward to the event, and thank you again for partnering with us on it.